Welcome to Crash Course number 31. I'm Sammy Chimonahihi, I'll be from the Eagle One development team. We're going to be uh, taking a look at a little bit of uh, what Bob Ross would do. Uh, painting, uh, being able to actually have some beauty added to this environment. Uh, first thing I want to do is actually I want to change these textures throughout. Uh, there's a bunch of textures here that I think will do a better job of what we want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here to materials. Uh, we're going to go through uh, the first one. It's called Concrete EXT. Okay, and uh, this concrete EXT, we're gonna go with floor one to puddles, and we're just gonna do some replacement. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this one. Press Shift T. It's gonna replace it. it looks uh, pretty identical. Uh, next one that we're gonna do, there is one that's concrete EXT to dirt 04 uh, or four. Yep, there we go. So let's take these. Press Shift T. Okay, notice it's going to keep the same UV, the same blends. Uh, I'm just uh, looking through and I, I think I found a, a much better way for us to be able to, to blend. Ooh, dirty is not what I want. I want dirt 04 uh, to get the same thing that we want. So here we're going to go ahead and bring it to grass now. So I'm going to take this and uh, let's go ahead and change this to grass. Now, this is a little bit funky because it reversed it. That's fine. We can go back and we can redo this. Um, but what I'm going to go through and do right now is I'm going to change all the ground right now to this because uh, it's something Something that I think uh, is a much better than what we had before. Yeah, thankfully, I like this uh, bird's eye view. I can just quickly go through, grab the ones that I want, and then make those changes. Okay, and over here, actually, I like this over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. And then now we can go ahead and uh, we can begin to do a little bit more blending. Uh, there's one more f that I want to I want to grab though. The, let's uh, dirt 04 all right and, and grass dry grass 1 have a nice blend into uh, dirt that also kind of looks like mountainside. So I'm going to convert that to this and I'm just simply going to go through and uh, as we're making these changes Okay, keep in mind the painting tool is going to be coming in a second uh, to make sense of all of this. Okay, now I can also do a mass replace. Okay, if I really want to replace it, we'll show the mass replace texture tool in a little bit. Uh, but for right now, um, I'm actually going to have a little bit more control because uh, there's certain walls in, in, and certain faces here that I actually wanted to change to something completely different. So I'm not replacing all of them with the same one. Otherwise, uh, that tool will become very handy and we'll actually be using that in quite a bit. All right, so all the faces have been changed to the uh, new uh, blends that I like. Now we're going to do some painting. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, shift right click to grab this texture, shift V. Let's change it to everything. And uh, you're going to see this giant red radius. And I'm just going to go, I'm going to, this one is actually a really nice tip. Instead of coming here and adjusting the radius and strength, um, Atlas, actually, I'm going to give him credit, told me, hold down the middle mouse button, left and right, changes the radius up and down changes the strength and wow this is so much easier because now i can come right through i can paint it and we can make this blend much much easier so all i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go through i'm going to blend this the way that i want yeah i like this blend a little bit more and we're just going to keep it generic uh, as much as i can i'm just going to quickly mass paint these so that way it matches Okay, and, and we can get more detailed as we go. Like I said, this is going to be uh, our, our Bob Ross moment. Shift right click. Let's grab this texture. And uh, over here, I'm just uh, going ahead and holding down control as I paint the blend onto what I want. And I'm just giving myself hard edges for right now so later I can go back and I can blend it a little bit smoother. So we kind of rushed the last one, which is fine. I wanted to make sure that we stay within the time constraints. But for this one, it's worth just kind of doing an entire paint job over again uh, and then beginning fresh. All right, um, first thing I want to do, I want to line this up because uh, if you notice, the displacements here, they match up texture wise. Uh, but what doesn't match up is the fact that I can't put this up I can't pull this to, to make it look natural you'll notice there's some edges right here uh, and that's because as we look at the seams these are not stitched together I've got three faces here and I've got four right here okay so there's one way that I can go ahead and quickly solve that okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take this I'm gonna press alt n okay I'm gonna separate it I'm gonna take now the two edges on the inside I'm gonna press a V I'm gonna create that cut and then I'm gonna select these two edges Okay, I'm going to press M, merge them together. Select these two edges, M, 
merge it together, merge these two, select these two and merge them. And now if I press Shift D and B, and let's lower the same thing. Thank you, Atlas. We can hold down middle mouse button, lower the strength, lower the amount. Now I can go ahead and make that blend look a lot more natural. Okay, this now uh, it doesn't have a seam. Okay, we have a, a lot more smoothness. Now let me shift right click, shift V. Let's grab our paintbrush and let's lower it. And let's go ahead and, and let's uh, start to uh, try our best uh, to make more sense of this blend actually. So here, I'm just gonna do grass on the sides. That way uh, we have some uh, growth here. Um, actually, I don't like this being up so high, so I'm going to lower this and then let's smooth it. Okay, so uh, Shift D, then B, and then I just want to go ahead and smooth these edges out uh, as it looks a little bit rough right now on the edges. No pun intended. Okay, uh, there's going to be uh, some faces. I'm going to try to avoid smoothing this for right now because I've got some plans for this coming up, uh, but I need to have some of the edges straightened. I can't have all of them curved, uh, but on this side for right now, we can go ahead and we can give it some definition. That's fine. I don't mind this as much. All right. So well, enjoy this. I actually, when, when I'm doing this sort of work, I actually think this is the most relaxing part uh, going through doing terrain manipulation and, and terrain painting. Okay. Let's go back to our paint tool. And let's try our best to just keep this uh, as blended. Uh, there's some grass growth on the side and uh, some up here. That's fine. If uh, you notice any uh, sharp edges, that's fine. Like right now, you can see there's a little bit of a texture misalignment. That's okay, just uh, at any point, just double click on the terrain and you can just come over here and realign it. Okay, and boop, realign it. Now it looks seamless. And if there's anything left, then just go to your smoothing tool and uh, you might have to smooth it out. Let me just lower the amount and then really, really take your time. Because uh, when it comes to this stuff, it, it's, it's like I said, it's something that uh, you should really uh, take advantage of as being a relaxing moment as opposed to when you're mashing meshes together. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and smooth this out as well. That's fine. Okay, <clears throat> so our terrain's looking a lot better. And we've got something that we can uh, use to create paths with. Um, I can now smooth and, and transition this as well. So we have all the opportunity now to create a, a much bigger playground. Uh, the biggest thing that I, I do want to make sure that we continue to work with, though, is using uh, the tools that we have uh, to be able to create uh, something that looks pleasing to the eye. And so at this point, by going through and now giving us a lot more definition, we've got water, we've got dirt, uh, we've got grass, we've got rocks up here. I can smooth out these rocks a little bit. Uh, let's see what happens by just adding a couple of pieces to this, okay? Uh, let's go to our models. Okay, under models, uh, I've got here uh, type in sumac. I like these trees, these are really nice. Let's go with the uh, sumac 03, okay? So I'm gonna come here, let's put in sumac 03. Okay, uh, let's uh, switch the world orientation. Lower the grid size. When I'm placing trees and models down, I don't mind going to a grid size of one. All right, grid size of one. Let's rotate a little bit. Let's move it out. I'm just trying to put these inside so that way a little bit on the bottom goes into the terrain so it doesn't look like it's just floating. And now right, I'm just adding some trees and, and foliage by grabbing models and, and placing them directly down. Okay, let's add another one maybe right here as well. Okay, and we can play with these later. Uh, let's move this maybe a little bit into the ground. I always just like to have just a little bit just in case. And then now we're planting some trees <clears throat> and we're starting to notice this foliage is going to do a lot better of a job defining these different angles. All right, uh, let me go ahead and add uh, uh, one more. Uh, and uh, if you're not sure where to go uh, in your <clears throat> asset browser under models, you're just typing in sumac. I love these trees. I can't type though. There we go. And uh, let's use this one right here. I like this one so we can use uh, some definition. Okay, and I like to put them up. Anytime that you see there's a blend, uh, putting a tree there does wonders for trying to hide that blend. So we can put one right here. Now it's a lot more difficult. And we can put another one over here as well. Okay, and I can maybe put it a little bit into the ground. And now this is definitely going to be something that the player, they're seeing foliage, they're, they're seeing a story, they're seeing buildings. Uh, don't be afraid to use the displacement tool. Don't be afraid to paint. Uh, but keep in mind, as all of this is going through the environmental art, it should be a pleasing process. It should be the part that you enjoy since you've done all the mesh work and you fought and gone to get to here. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, being able to set up our environment uh, for our next tutorial. We're now going to go ahead and start 
start to go through our second phase of this art pass.